Bungalows are the most frequent architectural style in the old Speedway City Historic District. Three bungalows along 16th Street reveal the character of this community. These homes were not in the original city because they are on the wrong side of the street. The original Speedway City only included lots on the south side of 16th Street. These houses and many others along the north side of the street were counted in the application for historic designation because the homes have contributing historic features intact. We'll compare these three to note historically significant details. The homes were labeled Cottage Bungalow by Speedway Junior High students when identifying architectural styles for the historic application. Typically, a bungalow is any one or one and a half story home built between 1900 and 1930. The Indianapolis City Directory from 1930 shows that the first home occupied was the brown frame house in the center of the image, the green frame house to the right, located at 5064, was built in 1926 according to the homeowner's deed. The brick house was built in 1929. Bungalows have a low profile and wide overhanging eaves. Note how the second story dormer is slightly different, offering a distinctive look from the street. The bungalow became the architecture of the city and its suburbs. Most of the living space is on one floor. A bungalow's front door opens directly into the living room. This artful, multi-pane door adds character to the home. Built-in features are typical of bungalows. The home at 5064 has a built-in buffet in the dining room and bookcases like these. Plastered ceilings and a fireplace are also common in bungalows. Some of the distinctive Chicago styling at 5062 is all brick and built elbow to elbow with the house next door. A generous use of wood traces back to the working man's house of the 19th and 20th century. Bungalows allowed people of modest means to achieve something they had long sought, respectability and fulfillment of the American dream.